Now, before I get started with this video, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I just want to give a quick thank you to you guys for getting your boy to 25,000 subscribers, man. It's a huge accomplishment and I really do appreciate it from each and every one of you guys. Yo, what is going on, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Samar Raider, back at it again with another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about Carlos Dunlap being released by the Seahawks and if the Raiders should be interested in him. Not only that, I'm going to be talking about Kyle Long coming out of retirement and the possibility of him following his dad's footsteps as a Raider. And last but not least, I'm going to be talking about some players that the Raiders could actually be interested in in free agency coming next week. All of that on this episode of Nation News. And you tell them one thing. Just one thing, dude. So it looks like the former Bears guard Kyle Long has returned to the NFL. McCon Gunter of the Green Light Pod tweeted, three-time Pro Bowl offensive lineman Kyle Long is returning to the NFL. He is 315 pounds, healthy, happy, nasty, and shredded, and has signed with Jeff Nally of the Select Sports Group. Talk about perfect timing for the Raiders, who might be needing a new guard after letting go of Gabe Jackson and Richie Incognito. Long retired after the 2019 season after his contract expired, so he will be available in free agency. He has played his whole career in Chicago after being drafted in the first round of the 2013 NFL Draft, only missing one game in his first three seasons. But he has been dealing with injuries since then. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the Raiders were actually interested in going out and getting Kyle Long and bringing him over to the dark side. I mean, it, it only makes sense for the Raiders to do that. You know, he seems destined to be a part of the Raider Nation, you know, following his dad's footsteps. And if you guys don't know who his dad is, how are you a Raider fan? <laughs> okay, I'm just joking with you guys, but I'm talking about Howie Long. Now, this would be another Long repping the nation at a position we could use him in. Imagine Kyle Long coming over to Vegas, repping that 7-5. Shoot, that would save the Raider fans a lot of money on buying a new jersey because they could just rep their old one. Now, I'm not saying that the Raiders have to go out and sign Kyle Long, but it would be nice. If not, then I totally understand because the Raiders could go out and just re-sign Denzel Good to replace Gabe Jackson at that right guard position. Again, I don't know what the market would hold for Kyle Long coming into free agency. I know there's a limited amount of offensive linemen and free agency, especially ones of Kyle Long's caliber. So I don't know what the money's going to look like. I'm not looking to overspend for Kyle Long, but if we could get him for a good deal to come over to the dark side and follow his dad's footsteps as a Raider and help this team make it to the playoffs and into the Super Bowl, then I'm all for it. And on top of that, like I've said over and over again, Rich Incognito, after being officially released today, uh, I believe he's still going to resign with the Raiders. And in that case, both of our guard positions would already be filled up with Denzel Good and Richie Incognito. Unless he could play right tackle. In that case, bring him on down. Okay, all jokes aside, would you guys want to go out and get Kyle Long and bring him over to the Raiders, or would you guys pass on that opportunity? Let me know down in the comments below. So yesterday, the Seattle Sea Chickens released defensive end Carlos Dunlap per Adam Schefter. The Seahawks did end up saving $14 million in cap space, making Dunlap a free agent this offseason, and that means he can sign with anyone. Maybe the the Raiders? Who knows? In 2020, Dunlap tallied 32 total tackles, 8 tackles for loss, 6 sacks, and 4 pass deflections. Now, Dunlap is still 32 years old, and at this stage of his career, he still has value as an edge rusher, which we all know the Raiders desperately need help at. Now, as you guys already know, last season, the Raiders ranked one of the worst teams at getting to the quarterback with only 21 sacks, which is unacceptable. And I know a guy like Carlos Dunlap, if we were to bring him over to the Raiders, could definitely help out this defensive line. Now, if you guys were to ask me if I would want to go out and sign Carlos Dunlap and bring him over to the Raiders? I would say, of course. Anybody with a post on a defensive side that could come in and help out our defense why not? But as always, it comes down to price. And after looking back at that 2019 free agency class, guys, me, I would really want to be careful at signing some big name free agents. Or I mean, I'm not saying he is a big name, but I think he is up there in age. I don't know how much he's going to be wanting. But if we did manage somehow, some way to bring in Carlos Dunlap on a good deal, then he would be a solid veteran presence on our defensive line. But there are reports saying that the Seattle Seahawks do want to bring Carlos Carlos Dunlap back. They did release him only to let go of that $14 million cap hit and they want to sign him on for a cheaper deal. So he might want to go back. If not, he's 32 years old. And the best place I believe that he could go get a ring in 2021 it's in Las Vegas, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, if we could get some help on that defensive line, I mean, we could go places. 
and especially now with Paul Gunther being gone, who we all know, if he was still here, he probably would be pounding the table for Carlos Dunlap like he did for Vontez Burfick. So he's not here anymore. We have Gus Bradley as our new defensive coordinator. But if the Raiders did go out and sign Carlos Dunlap, then I'll be happy. If not, then I wouldn't even stress about it. So Raider Nation, would you guys want the Raiders to go out into free agency and sign Carlos Dunlap and add him to our roster or go in a different direction? Let me know down in the comments below. And last but not least, I want to just look at some players that got tagged today that the Raiders could have possibly been interested in. Those names being Allen Robinson, Justin Simmons, Marcus May, Marcus Williams, and last but not least, Leonard Williams. As you guys already know from my Raiders rebuild a couple of videos ago, I really wanted Leonard Williams, and I know it was going to be kind of tough to get him if he was to hit the open market, but that was even if he was to hit the open market. As we found out today, the New York Giants tagged Leonard Williams, so he's going to be staying in New York, and his career is just going to go to waste again. But, you know, like I said, I've always wanted him since the NFL draft, and the fact that we can't get him in free agency kind of sucks but you know what we move on and we move forward and we save money now some players that did not get tagged that are going to be hitting the free agency market that the Raiders could possibly be interested in are Kenny Galladay Juju Smith-Schuster now well real quick about Juju Smith now I know earlier today he posted pictures of him in Las Vegas and I know a lot of Raider fans kept asking me on my DMs yo some more Raider Juju Smith-Schuster to the Raiders I mean, I don't know. I've heard a lot of rumors that the Raiders are interested in Juju Smith and they would want to bring him over to Vegas. I mean, he's a player I wouldn't mind bringing over to the team, but I don't think we need him. I, I, I feel better going out and getting Nelson Aguilar on a better contract, but we'll see. And other names being Hassan Reddick, Shaq Barrett, Joe Thune, Keanu Neal, and Bud Dupree. Now, these are all names of players that I believe that the Raiders might be interested in going into free agency. Now, I'm not saying that we should go out and sign all these players or most of these players. I'm just saying that there's options out there. And especially options to help out our defensive line. Now, after looking back at 2019, especially looking at all the players that we did cut, you know, LaMarcus Joyner, Trent Brown, uh, Tyrell Williams, all those guys that we signed in 2019 that didn't pan out for the Raiders. I'm just trying to stay away from overpaying players that just don't pan out for the Raiders. So Raider Nation, what are some names that you guys would want to go out in free agency and sign that wouldn't cost a lot? Let me know in the comments below. All right, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys today on this episode of Nation News. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and again if you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you love the las vegas raiders hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when i upload more videos just like this one and if you guys want to help support this channel and become an exclusive member then hit that join button down below so you can help your boy out with all that being said this is your boy some more raider and your boy is yeah